Hello, thank you for joining me in the reveal of my next gaming table. This new design is still a prototype, as I am still in the process of building it. It will be cheaper than my current rectangular table, mostly because it does not have the multiple folding player stations nor the oddly shaped storage base. My design goal is to have a simpler table at a lower price to make my tables more accessible to the general public. Let's take a look at the new features I've implemented in my new table design. The hexagon dimensions of this table will have two width dimensions, an edge-to-edge -edge measurement and a corner-to-corner -corner measurement. The edge-to-edge -edge width is 4 feet 10 inches across. The corner-to-corner -corner width is 5 feet 4 inches across. The table height is 30 inches tall with 25 inches of leg room underneath. The table top thickness is 5 inches. Since this is a hexagon shaped table, it can sit six adults comfortably around it. Hexagon tables ensure that every player sitting at the table have the same distance to the center of the table. This design has a deep vault surrounded with five and a half inch wide leaning ledges. These leaning ledges are fixed in place so they do not fold out. They create a cubbyhole storage area underneath for each of the six players where cell phones or game components can be stored while playing the games. Since six people can sit comfortably around the table, there are six pop-out modular drink holders. These are located at the corners of the hexagon between each player, so each player will have access to their own drink holder. These drink holders are spring-loaded, so they pop out when you push gently on their front faceplates. Since they extend away from the vault gaming area, the chances of spilling liquids on the game being played is greatly reduced versus drink holders that would be built into the top of the leaning ledges. As with my rectangular table, these drink holders are modular, so they can be changed to fit either standard drink modules that hold pop cans, water bottles, and many other cylindrical drinking containers, or, if tea or coffee is your choice of drink, the module can be changed to use the mug module. This table will have three vault planks that store under the table when not in use. Functionally identical to my rectangular vault planks, they can be used in two ways. One. One side has a flat wooden surface that is level with the top of the leaning ledges. Two, the flip side has a three millimeter deep pocket that the vault neoprene can be placed into, creating a flush neoprene surface that is level with the top of the leaning ledges. With the neoprene sitting in this pocket, it will not roll up when the arms of the players drag across the tabletop. One of my favorite features of my original table were its fold-out player stations, but not for the reason you may think. The fold-out player stations are fantastic for role-playing games like D&D, but not so with most board games. Fold-out player stations, when opened, end up pushing the player further away from the table, which is not desired. So if a fold-out player stations are not a great solution for board gamers, why do I like them? It's the extra tabletop space they give that is very cool. I like using the unattended player station beside me as a non-vault tabletop for holding the game box and rules on. A folding player station beside me can do this without forcing me to use a portable table that sits beside me. These fold-out player stations can also hold snack bowls and other things beside game boxes and manuals. Overall, they are very handy and take up no extra space in the table or in the room. So with this new hexagon table, I have not included the folding player stations, but I did emulate their extra tabletop capabilities by adding a slide-out shelf on opposite ends of the table. These shelves extend out from the table 12 inches on ball bearing slides, so they are super easy to extend and use. They have been designed to hold a significant amount of weight, so if someone does happen to lean on the edge, the board will support the weight and not snap. Neither will the table break in the same situation. Since these slide out shelves extend opposite from each other, it gives extra space for four players sitting at the table. Each person has access to one of the two shelves. Playing on this hexagon table gives you a place to hold your drinks, away from the vault in the drink modules, as well as extra space to hold stuff that you might want or need during the game. This is a good use of space while keeping the vault clear of clutter. This slide-out shelf can still be used when the vault is covered, since it is integrated into the underside of the table. This ends my presentation of my new hexagon table design. I hope to have one built in the next few months, at which time I will have a much better idea of what one of these will cost to build. Stay tuned and check out my webpage at CaiuteDesigns.com to see any new updates and pricing on my tables. Thank you.